it has been 13 fucking rounds. I'm, I was literally so tired at this point. Like, well, I wasn't tired. I was sick and tired. I was pretty much annoyed that it one little step takes so much time. Well, I guess I know how the buried one feels now. And look, don't even give that. And look, just this is the last one that I have to give it. Just kill one more and then collect one more stone. That's it. One, all those teleport ones, as soon as I have one left to do, finished. And this is why you're pissed off and pissed off about because when you need a specific zombie for a step, you never get it. And then once you completed a step with it, then you pretty much get it all the time. And it's fucking annoying. But still, I'll show you what to do with the fishing rod now that we know what to do. Okay, this part I'm about to get to the fishing rod and um, the main part about the fishing rod is to get the shovel. The shovel is probably the most important part about the um, the fishing rod. You can also find ammo, uh, money, ah, zombie one. parts. When I mean zombie parts, I mean like, obviously body parts. I think That's you can one. even find a head, a leg or an arm. And you can also find life jackets and um, I'm pretty sure I think you can also find a um, Wellington. Yeah, you can find a Wellington boot as well. I think there's some more stuff you can find, but I'm not sure. And now once you get the shovel, I got mine pretty early. I got mine on my second go at the fishing rod. You want to head over to the teleporter and it will let you teleport. Matey. Now what you've got to do here is you've got to dig, which which no shit, it was obvious. And um, yeah, and it's completely random, so I can't do a locations video, unfortunately. But still, don't really matter. And um, yeah, it's pretty stressful when you when you don't find it for ages. But still, yeah. I'll pretty much, I'll leave it. I'll leave it here for now. And I'll come back when I found the third code. And so at this point, I find the, um, I find the box. There it is. But something bad happens. I teleport back. And what's wor and what could be possibly worse than teleporting back without the code? Something simple. The round can change. Oh, great. Doesn't really matter because it's dog's round anyway. But still, still annoying. Still annoying nonetheless. And then the teleport, but it doesn't really matter if that happens because you can just teleport back and it will be un dug up again. And yeah, the nano swarm kind of thing that's surrounding the island and that lot, all that is is just that's pretty much the time telling you how long you got until you get teleported back. Yeah, you don't really get a lot of time on that island, but still. Any more time, it'll probably be too easy. <laughs> and so, yep. Now we're going to listen to Oz talk again, so I'll be back in a minute. See you in a bit. Okay, so that was step four. Um, when I get to step, when I get to step five, I'll be back. Uh, yep, back very soon. And so for the next step slash code, 
what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the hangar, not the spawn room that I'm in, but the other one. And you want to go up to where the exo medic is and look at the lockers. And um, look at the one that says, the closed one that says Captain DJ. Hold it and the characters will give a dialogue. And then randomly around the map, there will be some, there will be a couple of those power-up drones. And now what you've got to do is you have to pretty much destroy the drones, but... The, no, not both the drones, but you have to destroy the drone that has nothing in it. Two will spawn, one will have a power-up, the other one will have nothing in it. And when you destroy it, you go over to it and you'll pick up a handle or a lever or something. Take it to this box here and you'll be able to pay 1,000 credits for what to get the cage, bring the cage down, the cage that's above the water kind of thing. And... Um, when I saw that cage, I just knew that had to be part of the story somehow. Oh, and pretty much, um, what you got to do next is you see those the square. It's the square-like mirror kind of ones, the square-like mirror things. What you're gonna want to do is you want to kill zombies but on top of those on top of those square um, open roof bits. Open roof, open floor. Look, and you see how the blood just like falls through. And um, pretty much the reason why you want to do this is because you want to lure a shark. The shark has the eye of Captain DJ. Yeah, coincidence that that shark has the eye of Captain DJ. Definitely makes sense. And um, pretty much the. Um, yeah. Well, you'll get the eye, but you have to do something else. But I'll explain that once I get to that part. And yeah, I'm just going to bring in the shark. And yep, I'll be back when the shark is here. Okay, as you can see there, I kind of noticed I've got the shark there. And then you want to press the lever. I think it costs a thousand to use each time. And then I disinfected myself. And then I got it. All you have to do is just climb in. Oh, that's all you have to do. At this point, I forgot to, like, capture the... Oh, no, the shark attack's there. Never mind. I thought I forgot to... I thought I forgot to get the shark attack kind of thing. When that shark attacks at that point, you have to hold X. Um, I think you have to hold X, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you the eye if you don't hold X. Originally, we thought that... Originally, we thought you had to... Get the fish out of the um, out of the um, fish from the fishing rod, and then you have to feed the shark the fish. As it turns out, that's not the case, and the fish I think is used for something else. And pretty much, um, I'll explain the, what the fish is used for another time. And but for now, pretty much, you go over back to the locker, you hold X. And voila, there's the next code. At this point, I kind of got... Well, I didn't get, well, I didn't get like, crowned. I thought I got crowned at this point. I don't know. And, yeah, the final code is there. And pretty much all the difficult steps from this point on are, are done. All the difficult steps are done. There's no other difficult steps. And, um... Pretty much... Um, the next step, what you want to... Actually, wait, I'll, I won't explain the next step because I think we I think I have to... Wait a minute, because I think I give the code at this point. Do I get a code? Okay, I think this is when I put the code in, and here's Oz's chat, chat line. And yeah, so pretty much that's the final, the most difficult, final difficult step. Now, all you want to do for the, these steps onwards is you want to put weapons into the weapon disposal machine. 
and you want to get some C4 out. I'm pretty sure war weapons work because I keep on like because all I kept all I usually do sometimes is I get the HBRA3 out and I just pretty much I pretty much just use the HBRA3 to get the C4. If you guys have low points at this at this round, pretty, I think it I think you are able to use the MK14 and the ball and the ball dog to get some to get the C4. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And but I still use box weapons. I think I use actually no. I think I switch from box weapons to I think I start using war weapons as well at this point. I know. And yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get the C4. And I'll be back when I've got the C4.